Hi, everybody. So today I'm going to be reading If You Take a Mouse to School. So in order to participate uh, on your student's device, uh, you can say um, anything that about school. So I like school. I want to go to school. I want to take a mouse to school. Um, any of those phrases um, about school uh, and then have that device hooked up during the story and encourage uh, your child to hit that device um, throughout the story um, as I'm reading. Um, I also, in this story, there's some different um, things um, that the mouse has. Um, so one of those and then some of these things um, so as I bring them out right now, you can go and collect them around your house, pause the video, collect them up, and then we will use them as I'm reading the story. So I'm going one of the first thing is a lunchbox. So this is the lunchbox that I have. It's a little kid lunchbox. It looks kind of like the one in the story. Um, then a ball. Any type of ball. I have two different kinds. Um, in the story, they kick a ball or play with a ball. So you can use either one. Um, a block. Any kind of block. Uh, a pencil. And a notebook. Okay. And then they wash their hands. So in the story, so I got hand sanitizer because I had that accessible. Um, if you have soap. Uh, you can use that. Um, so pause the video right now and go collect um, this stuff to be able to participate. I'm going now I'm going to get started reading. If you take a mouse to school by Laura Numeroff, illustrated by Felicia Bond. If you take a mouse to school. If you take a mouse to school, if you take a mouse to school, he'll probably ask you for your lunchbox. So get your lunchbox out and give it to your student to hold as they're packing up their lunch. When you give him your lunchbox, who want a sandwich? And a snack for later. Then, he'll need a notebook. Give your student the notebook to hold. And some pencils. Give them the notebook and the pencils. And he'll probably want to share your backpack, too. When you get to school, he'll put his things in your locker. Then he'll take a look around. He might do a little math. And spell a word or two. He'll even try a science experiment. As I'm reading, encourage your student to use their switch to participate in the story by saying, I want to go to school. I like school. Then he'll need to wash up. And you'll have to take him to the bathroom. Okay, so get out the soap or hand sanitizer. Give that to your student to hold because he's washing up. Once he's nice and clean, he'll be ready for lunch. So he grab his lunch box. On the way to the lunchroom, he'll see some blocks. And he'll build a little mouse house. So give them the block to hold.
and make some furniture out of clay. Then he'll need some books for his bookshelf. He'll start by writing one of his own. And he'll need lots of paper. He'll probably use up all your pencils, so give your student a pencil to hold. When he's finished, he'll want to read his book to you. Then he'll want to take it home, so he'll put it in your lunchbox. Give them the lunchbox. When the bell rings, he'll run out to wait for the bus. While he's waiting, he might play a game of soccer. Or he'll ask you to shoot a few baskets. So give your students a ball. Any ball works. And he'll do a little skateboarding. When he stops to catch his breath, he'll want to eat a snack. So he'll ask you for your lunchbox. And chances are, if he asks you for your lunchbox, you'll have to take him to, take him back to school. The end. So that's if you take a mouse to school. Bye.